of this quarantine that we've been uh-huh. in. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I've like started using everything I have. Like I have curling irons and I have um, what another thing I have that I use this morning and I've started using every morning. A jade roller. Oh, I got one of those for Christmas. I'm like, I'm, I'm like every morning. I don't know what it does, but let me it's tell not- you what, I'm doing it. <laughs> It's meant to help that like the de swelling and like puffiness. If you wake up in the morning with a bit of puffiness, you kind of like... it feels good and I like it. And it's like <laughs> I, I, I'm talking to my friends and I'm running out of face masks. I have like a drawer full of face masks and Me it's too. slowly depleting. And I'm like, well, when else are you going to use them except now? So exactly. where are you? Yeah, are I'm you in so LA. Funny? Yeah, oh, nice. where are you? I'm in Long Island, New York. I was in the oh, city, but it got a bit crazy. So I left and I came out to a friend's house here. That's so nice. nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm here in LA and I was filming a movie when it everything shut down. No. And I had like three days left of filming, right? And then it got yeah. really serious and the producers like had these meetings and I was like, wow, this is real. This is really, we're shutting down production because of, what's happening in the world. And I was in this place in Alabama that was a town like this big. And oh, so, so it just didn't really affect this little city like it did probably LA and New York immediately. Mm-hmm. So when I came home to LA and tried to go to Whole Foods, I was like, this is not. This no, is I had, I had never bad. seen anything like that in my life either. And no. it was quite scary. Um, yeah. I, I was actually in LA a week before this kind of all started. Then I was meant to go to Spain. I had this whole trip in Spain. Um, I'm about to re- re- release the project and I had meetings and stuff and I had to cancel the entire thing because literally from like a Monday to a Friday, everything completely went flop. What kind of project were you doing? Uh, I have my new album that's coming out. So oh I'm my like, God. Yeah. yeah. So luckily Are I you going to release it during it. quarantine or no? Well, it's funny, I, was, I wasn't going to, but now I've actually been writing a lot more during this quarantine, and I think I want to release one of the songs that I've been writing during this time. You which should, would be nice. yeah. because um, did you listen to the new Fiona Apple album? Yes, oh my God, I was listening to that this morning. I know, and I've been listening to it, and I think that the environment that we're in today, getting an album like hers, where it felt like more of like a story or a journal or something, Absolutely. I was really able to just sit and listen. Yeah. Whereas I feel like had it been released a month ago when I was on set or something, I wouldn't have gotten to like really enjoy it. And I feel like now's the time for artists to, if you're a musician to release your music, like if I had a new film that was coming out, I'd be so happy if it was coming out today because I think there's a lot of time to just observe and like be still, which I don't think you get. Actually, I totally agree. And how, so how have you like been adapting to, this kind of like time at home funny enough I love it and like I'm pretty used to it when I'm working I like to be alone and when I come home after I work I like to be alone (laughs) (laughs) but but I'll tell you what I'm learning how to cook which I never cook so like I'm pretty excited about that Mm -hmm. I've been cooking like you know easy like pasta and like some prosciutto stuff and then like my my latest accomplishment chicken stir fry Oh, wow. Okay, Big I'm going to send me. you some recipes because Please. Do you I cook? love to cook. Yeah. Really? I yeah, I do. Oh, see, I love food so much. Oh. So I'm like, <laughs> when I do get in the kitchen, I'm like, very excited. Like, I'm, it's a newfound love because I love food. I'm like, why haven't I done this? Like, yeah. ever. The most I knew how to make till recently was mac and cheese and eggs. So I'm pretty proud. It's a big accomplishment. And cookies, of course, exactly. baking cookies. Yeah. So you're a really good cook, though. Uh, I don't know if really gets the word, but I really enjoy it. I've always enjoyed <laughs> cooking. And I'm here in quarantine with six friends. Um, and what do you, do you guys cook something every day? Yeah, so at night we do dinner. We don't do lunch or like breakfast because everyone's doing their own thing and working. But at night we like sit, you know, we make, we make enough to everyone sit together for dinner and we make dinner. And tonight we're having tacos. It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> so we're making tacos tonight. Yeah. Um, it's fun. It's, That's nice. It's just, you guys have like a sit down dinner all together. Yeah. See, like that you, doesn't happen. Are you with your family? Or are you yeah. Alone? Okay. Um, I have my parents here at my house and it's like, oh, geez. But yeah. at least we're together and we're healthy. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so you're with friends. At least that's like more yeah. fun and normal. My right? mom. Like, I know, but I kind of miss my family. My mom is in 
well, my family's in Spain right now. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of wish I was there with them. But at the same time, it just, I had to stay here for work. And you never know if we can come back in or out. It's kind of complicated. So Do you like, find that you're more creative right now than normal? I find with all this time, I feel less pressure to create. And uh, totally. like the, I'm less like product driven and more like, yeah, let me sit down and see what happens. Do That's you know what, what I was mean? going to say. Yeah. Like, I have a friend that I was talking to this the other day and we were saying how I'm kind of going back to my roots of how I used to write, which was really like by myself, not like thinking, who am I going to go write with? What am I going to do? It's just very me, my computer, figuring things out, even though it sounds terrible. And I've also like set a goal to myself, which is also going back to my what I used to do, which was like write a song every day. It doesn't have to be a full song, but just something. So it's just gets me moving and keep going and That's sometimes so cool. I throw it away completely and right. you don't want to hear it but other times and then maybe something... you fall in love with something right yeah and that's the song that I think I want to release that I fell in love with so I'm kind of I hope you release up. it I know we'll see I feel like you have to I mean come on give us something to do that's another thing like <laughs> I spend too much time on Instagram so much so that my eyes have started hurting I've noticed they hurt I'm like girl like you, I gotta get those glasses for when you're like staring yes. at a screen or like watching TV, like I'm, I'm looking at screens too much. So uh, give us something to close our eyes to or dance to where I don't have to go like this with my phone. <laughs> no, I will. No, no, I was I was even like, I have to say me too, I've been a lot on my computer and stuff. And I was going to start watching the show on Netflix that's called Unorthodox. And then I was um, like, you know that what? looks really good. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to read it. But then ironically, I had to buy it on, I, on an ipad because it was really <laughs> taking too long to order it online so I, like, so I am still reading it on a screen but at least i'm like more you can turn the brightness like, down exactly, <laughs> the night mood on yeah no um i know i'm trying to read too just to give my eyes a break like what the heck do you have any projects coming out i have i have two movies coming out Ooh, um, when? um I have one coming up in, I mean, I don't know, none, none of it's been announced. And because of what's happening right now, everything's closed. I don't know if they're going to be moved or if they're, right now I have a movie that was coming out around, I can't say, I'm not supposed uh -huh. to say. But anyway, uh -huh. so it might get moved. It might stay the same, but we just have to wait and see what's going on with movie theaters. I have this movie I did with Vince Vaughn. It's hilarious. You're going to love it. Oh. We we swap bodies. Um and that's really all I can say. And it's like a horror comedy. And I feel like it's the kind of movie that if we do get out of this pandemic and people are able to go to movie theaters again, which I think we will, I don't want to live in like fear forever. Like, like I get scared walking my dogs. Like, I don't like that feeling. Like you mm -hmm. just, so I hope that as a world, when we get over the pandemic, we're still able to like go to concerts and not live in that fear. Like, we can't stop living our lives. You know what I mean? So anyways, I hope when we do get out of the pandemic, it's a movie that like, I want to see happy stuff right now, personally. I know. Because... I don't want to watch pandemic movies. I'm like, I don't want to watch like- A pandemic I, movie? Like, like, like Contagion and all these kind of oh. like, like I watched that one fine. But like to freak it, you I, out more. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, honestly, it was like a little too real. And, and so- I've stopped watching that and then I started watching like I actually started watching the Michael Jordan documentary yesterday which is unbelievable yeah um, and then just a few other like yeah funny things not serious and scary you know you know what I started watching it's like kind of amazing if you really want a good laugh the Ellen DeGeneres Game of Games. Oh. If you want to just <laughs> roll on the floor laughing, that's the one to watch. Also, no, I've been what? playing. I'm with my parents, okay? So, <laughs> like, when you got a mom and a dad, what are you going to do? You're going to play lots of cribbage, and you're going to watch Ellen's Game of Games because that's who they are, and that's what I have to do. And I love it. It's fine. It's not that's, exciting. That's what it's I not... Honestly, that's what I watch when, I, when I'm cooking, when I cook in the city. I, that's what I would put on TV because it would come after the news or something like that. It would come on and that's what I was watching. It's just like mind numbing and like makes you laugh. Yeah. I don't know. I love Ellen. Go Ellen. Um, but yeah, playing lots of cribbage. It's not very exciting. I started doing a lot of puzzles, which is quite fun. You did. But it's important to just stay um, motivated too. Like what you're mm -hmm. doing, doing a song a day. <sighs> I work out like once a day and I feel good about that. <laughs> 
No. Are you staying physical? Do you like, what oh, do no, you do to I stay have... physical and like move your body? So I do this workout, which is online called Trey, what's on real? You can also do it, but we can't now, but it's called Tracy Anderson. Oh, I've heard of Tracy Anderson. Yeah. You should check her workouts out online. They're, I mean, she's awesome. Okay. And it's like a full body. And so I do that. I try and do it every day. Um, and I do that. And then I go on walks. I try and go at least for one walk every day. Um, sometimes I forget I left, I haven't left the house yet, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> and like two days will go by and I'll be like, oh God, I didn't leave the house. Oh my God, um, it's the weirdest feeling. It, it is, right? I did that when I first came home. I wouldn't leave my house because I was just wanted to stay mm -hmm. in. And uh, I realized I was so tired. Like I woke up tired and I went, mm -hmm. I was just so tired. I'm like, it's a short to move from my bed to the couch. So I was like, that's it. We got to wake up and work out every mm -hmm. morning and take, take lots of baths. Lots of bath time. Really yeah. into the baths. Lots oh, of Epsom I'm not a bath baths. person. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Yeah, I have like a tub, and I put all the candles, and I just mm -hmm. chill, like a hot tub. It's great. Right. You should try it. You don't like baths? No, I'm not like a mm, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like mm, no. I'm not You're like not for me. I'm no. more of a hang. I'm no like a shower, quick and out. Quick and out. Mm -hmm. Quick and out. Got other stuff to do. You got songs you're writing, okay? You don't have time. Exactly. And how do you differentiate? Do you make an effort to differentiate your weekends and weekdays? Or like, you're like, whatever. That's all this. No, I, 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 no, no chance. I mean, I have a hard enough time knowing what day it is if I'm not working. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> really, like, um, my last project, our weekends were Monday and Sunday. And I never knew it was Saturday until the day came. Like, I never, mm -hmm. it just doesn't work. So now being home and there's no schedule. I have Zoom calls sometimes, and I I have to be reminded. Like they gotta call me and tell me it's about, it's happening in ten minutes. Like even this with you, I was like I thought it was yesterday for a minute. I was like, is it today Tuesday? Or is <laughs> but yesterday was Monday. It's just weird. No, yeah. I got no chance for the weekdays. No. Yeah. How do you do? You, do you know I, when it's the weekend? I try to because like a lot of people who I'm living with, they have like jobs. I would say ours are not typical nine to five normally so it's like they're like doing something and so I try to make it so that the weekend and not everyone's on their computers right and we're all like doing stuff and like hanging out and whether it's either watching tv or going out on a walk just like try and make it different because if not we can all be in our nooks all day and not see each other for hours and then you're like how do you not eat all day that's my question because I do that well, oh, I try not to be next to the kitchen. <laughs> you stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> stay away from there. Like, that's the thing. If you're working in the kitchen, you start, like, one snack, two snacks. Um, yeah. And then I... I finished all my goldfish in, like, a day. It was really mad. I tried Nilla, Nilla biscuits for the first time. Nilla, I oh, yes. That's I tried that. That was a mistake. Because that... Yeah. <laughs> but, um... It is a mistake. I think it's just, the like... times like this make, it make me, you know, like... We met, I think did we meet in New York and then I saw you again in Paris. Yeah, exactly. We met in like New York Val and Paris. Yeah. I was thinking about Paris and like the Valentino show and how that is like something that you just look back on and you can't even believe that was your life once when you're in a That's time it. like this, like to be, okay. have been there in Paris at a fashion show, the like the gratitude I feel to have been in a beautiful place like that. And just to see beautiful clothes, it just seems like a time when like, you'll never have that again. I know it will happen, but it's just, um, no, I totally agree. makes you appreciate those moments so much more. No, absolutely. How fantastic they are. And like that now we're like, can't leave our houses. It's very mm -hmm. weird. Will there ever be another Valentino show again? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're yeah. so right. We really are like, like one, we're so fortunate that we're able to do these amazing jobs that we do and that we're able to share it with other people and just be a part of different communities through what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always say that like fashion and music come together and art, you know, acting and fashion, or fashion and acting, like they, all these worlds come together. And I, I agree. Right now we're all really supporting each other, even though we're not physically with each other, we're all supporting each other in different ways. Yes. Uh, whether it's people being asked to do lives on like their performance shows on like a, with a brand. The other day, actually, Alicia Keys did one for Valentino and it was unbelievable. She did? Yeah. What did she like, do on it? She just played piano and sang some songs. It was, it was amazing. Oh my gosh. 
I love her. It's That's just really different cool. like collaborations that people now are doing in a different way, which is kind of the new normal, I guess, which I hope it doesn't become that, but it's just a good way. I of find it um, amazing how people are really trying to make an effort to stay involved and create a community. I was supposed to be filming my show on Netflix, The Society right now, and we weren't able to go back because of this, but I find it really important to like go live and have that communication so that way you're still involved like mm -hmm. with with the world like people think it's so funny I think about like old people who might think things on Facebook are really literal and they're not you know mm -hmm. what I mean like you take things really seriously that you see on the internet and yet I find like going live on Instagram and getting to talk to my fans is uh really important to letting them know I'm still here like it's just the time when you want to stay connected Absolutely. with your friends and like facetiming your friends and your family is so important like we're all doing this and we're all looking at our phones and bored and not sure who's Absolutely. out there no, so I'm it is it has created a new way of building a community which is strange yeah we're Perfect. literally can't touch each other but we're more connected right now and talking I think than ever I mean, I told you, I definitely wasn't as active on social media, especially not in the live kind of way. That's something that I was never, just never really came across my mind. Or I wasn't that, I didn't ever felt that open. And I felt like, and that's why I started this, because I wanted to start having conversations with friends and sharing what they've been up to, because we're all... I think it opens both. your eyes, yeah, to how similar you know, and different we ways are. of like, you know, I have a friend who was cooking the other day while we were talking and she was sharing what she was doing and her new tricks and little neat things that I saw the with. girl who is teaching ballet that's yes. really cool Tyler, I want to take one of her classes what was her oh name? you should Tyler is oh she's great but her the way she started that was because she taught like a, when she went for quarantine she did a class at one of her mom's studios and then I think the week after it it closed and she was like well I gotta keep I don't know someone's gotta keep teaching in a way and it also keeps her trained and so she's doing that every day that's so cool. I would love that. That's the same, like, that's how I'm getting my workouts. I'm just looking at Instagram. Yeah, do Tyler's You know Cara, Cara Dor? You know Cara? Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing her workouts. They're, they're oh, great. Man. She's awesome, and her voice okay. is so cute because she has this German accent. So, like, I just do what she tells me to do because she says it the sweetest way. She's like, <laughs> it's only seven minutes. It's not that hard. You're going to live. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. Are there any questions on here? I don't know. Let's see. Wait. Mine is like not. Oh, here we go. It was like all the way at the top, so I wasn't seeing anything. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Ask us some really crazy questions. <laughs> Let us know. There's nothing. I have. You guys are cute. Thank you. Me too. That's what I. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what, if I tried to curl my hair like you, it would last approximately four minutes, and then it would go flat. It would go straight again. I, I mean, I was excited to do this live, you know, so I would take my sweatshirt off that I've been wearing every single day and like put on a t-shirt. I thought that'd be pretty cool, like really crazy. You guys, I don't know when the society is coming out because we haven't started filming it yet. So it'll happen. What, so what is it about? Can you um, season two. I, well, I haven't watched season one, actually. Oh, you got to watch season so one? Go oh, my God. It. So if you haven't seen it, now's the time to watch it because okay. uh, there's this part of the show where we're in a world where there's no rules and no law and everything, and there's no adults or parents, and it's just kids. Mm -hmm. And um, my character's kind of pushed into this place of power of mm -hmm. being, like, the leader of telling people what to do. But the thing that's crazy is there's parts, like, the the kids immediately, like, hoard the grocery stores and they steal all their carrots like there's this one character named Liv and I see her with a bunch of carrots and she throws carrots at a girl who's screaming at her trying to take some carrots and mm -hmm. I'm like what's wrong with you like hoarding carrots and it's so crazy because when I came home and went to Whole Foods they were like you can only buy one roll of toilet paper and I was like so people are doing this it's just a time the show is about who you are when nobody's watching and mm -hmm. like what kind of person are you going to choose to be when there's no morals oh, anymore yeah, no, when you create it. your own morals and um, people can be kind of evil. And that's what the show's about. It's like how when you, even if you're a good person, sometimes you have to make bad choices to be good. It's weird. Oh, I'm going to watch it. Is it, yes. is it how am I going to binge it? Is that how many, how many episodes are there? You might end up binging it if you like, 
it's also a like a teen, like Are they're all teens the and everyone's really hot. So Oh god, yeah. no, they're not gonna be in jail. <laughs> if I start watching yeah. it so I'll, I mean I'll watch it in two days. <laughs> yeah, so it's like I was talking to the creator, our showrunner on it, because uh I was scared that there just wasn't going to be a season two at all because of the pandemic. I was like, are we still really going to make this show? And he said, yeah, we're making it. We're going back for sure. And he was said he felt like the show's theme, like our, the first season, even it's so scary how much it resembles what's going on in the world right now. And we're, and it's a little creepy. Wow. It's a little creepy, but it's still a fun show to watch. It's like yeah. a good juicy Some drama. You know. Someone asked, "What is? You, what are we most looking forward to when we get out of this?" Like, what oh are man, you, what, what are, you, are you looking forward to? I to see my friends. I think my friends and my family. I'm gonna be really... so grateful to have friends <laughs> and like be with them. Can you imagine how like excited you're gonna be? Like like a child. Like I think I'm gonna be like not even on purpose, but you're just gonna be like so giddy. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you guys go do. Like go get a cheeseburger it's going to be the best thing in the world, like the best yeah. experience because we haven't done anything. Um, I'm excited to go back to work. I'm really well, that, grateful okay. that I have a, a show to go back to and to get to create again. Like mm -hmm. I'm one of the lucky ones uh, right now, like in Hollywood, everything, if you weren't in production, it's just canceled till further wow. notice, which is the same with like Coachella, right? Like Coachella was canceled. Well, festivals, concerts, will, stuff like will that. there, will it come back or is it just going to be something new? Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm just grateful. I'm going to have so much fun on that set. It's going to be like yeah, be four right. years Any, old. Anything with anyone, anyone does any project after this, if we are able to do those projects, it's, it's going to be such a surreal feeling. Because I don't think in ever being where like the entire world is going through the same thing. As, no. You know, um, no. So it's, it's going to be something quite special. It is going to be special. What is what's your favorite thing about quarantine? Oh, my seven new skincare routines for sure. <laughs> Mine, my favorite thing is that I, I do watch a lot of TV, like way more. Like I watch a lot, of, like that. Don't feel guilty about watching too much TV sometimes. Right, you don't feel like you're wasting any time. Yeah, I do love that, and I also love being in sweatpants all the time, for sure. Mm -mm. I'm in them right now. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I don't take them off. I bought more sweatpants because, of course, you need more, even though I have hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I love going live. Okay, what's your least favorite thing about quarantine? No friends. No friends and family, yeah. No, the fact that you can't, tra you know, travel. Yeah. I think that's yeah. the other thing that I'm definitely doing now is I'm – beyond grateful that I was not I was able to travel like we travel for work um that's something that I that I, yeah yeah I'm what are your, what's your favorite thing to cook me mm -hmm. I love to cook risotto risotto what kind mm -hmm. of risotto well mushroom I made mm -hmm. a courgette one the other day like zucchini or courgette. Oh I don't know gosh. people call them zucchinis or courgette yeah you're a chef okay <laughs> I make fettuccine noodles and I boil them and I throw some sauce on them and I call it a day. And I'm like, I'm a chef. And you're like, risotto, mushroom risotto, what? No, no, <laughs> no, no. That sounds really good. I uh, want some. So you're your... in New York right now. Do you yeah. usually live in New York or LA? You're both, no, you were, right? No, I live, so I live in New York City. And then, okay. but I went, I've been a lot to LA the past like three months because that's where I was recording the new project. Okay, cool. So, we yeah. got to come out. We got to hang out. I'll show you LA. I, I know, I know. Where, where are you in LA? What, like, if you, I don't know if you can say it on here, but like, are Los you on the side you say? Um, and uh, I mean, I love LA, but it's sad that all the beaches are closed. I drove down the other day and just stayed in my car and you could, I saw this school of dolphins and they were so close to the shore and I was, I'd never seen them that close to the shore before. And I think it's because we just aren't invading the beaches right now. Mm. And it's, I don't know. It's nice to see how well the earth is doing in our yeah. time of staying home. I saw That's a cool. picture today of um, online on some like news website that they were showing the, the, what Venice was like three months ago and what Venice is now. And it's like, totally less pollution also and what Isn't it crazy? places in Asia look before and look like now and places in India and it's all these like 
different examples and it's kind of crazy like the sky is blue 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 but like never seen anything like that and the water is clear it's so mm -hmm. scary it's just strange yeah. it's nice the earth is like we wanted a break and now we have one <laughs> i have i've been sketching i'll show you one of my sketches oh, i've been i've been doodling some poodles obviously can you see my poodles wait a, those that's a great sketch thank you so much she's a winner she's a dog show person and that's her one of my um hidden talents is uh, uh what? that's what that's okay fine i may be able to cook but i can't draw like that oh thank you i love i love to draw i love to doodle but i was gonna say my my secret talent is actually i'm gonna show my dog this one i was going to sign up for the beverly hills dog show and then i missed the, the uh, sign up sheet and she's gonna be my my star she's gonna i'm gonna run around with her and she's gonna be very Wait, cute. How many do you have? Three or two? I have three. I have a mm -hmm. standard, a mini, and a tiny one. This is the tiny one. <laughs> That's so cute. Do you have any pets? I don't. I don't. I really want a dog, but I don't have one. It's yeah. hard to have a dog, right, when you are traveling and working so exactly. much. But um, right now, they bring me so much joy. Oh, my gosh. They're my best friends. They're but the, I really best. want one right now, but they're... I think there's a huge short shortage because everyone's getting dogs right now. Really? Well, it's a great yeah. time to get one. You know, yeah, you can bond with them. You can train them while yeah. you're at home right now, hanging out. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But yeah, so I'm reading all of these. Kat, if you ever make a new Beverly Hills Dog Show movie, you better audition. <laughs> I don't need to audition if I'm making the movie. I'm making the movie. No. Fave place. What's Basically. your favorite place in Europe? Uh, Milan. Milan. I've never been to Milan. Oh. Every time I get to go to Milan, I can't go because I'm on set. Oh like, my god, you have such to go. a bummer. What's yours? Um, Paris, I mm. think. I love London though. I filmed a movie in London, and it was the best time of my life. I to love live. London. I grew up. The best part of my job is when I get to be on location of anywhere, mm. any place. Like I was in Alabama, most magical place I've ever been to. It's wherever I, I feel like you get to create. Like, if you had went to go make an album, like, wherever you are, it could be Kansas. It's going to be amazing because <laughs> you're, no, you're, so you're right. creating there. You're so right. Exactly. <laughs> um, Ooh, this is here. When is, oh, that's you. Don't know, you guys. Don't know. Pokemon Go World BFF, I love you, too. You rock. <laughs> that I love was going a good, live. That was a good one. The Pokemon one, that was a great movie. Will you adopt another dog at some point? I'm thinking about adopting another well, dog. No, I tried, but there's, like, oh. fully, like... Even at the rescue, not... the shelters? Yeah. Really? Like, around here, there are a lot of them that are just already taken, or it's complicated. It's, like, a whole thing. That's awesome. I know. My friend, I have three friends, though, that just adopted. In, in California, in Los Angeles, they just adopted puppies. Mm -hmm. And I'm so jealous. Keep the creativity and light flowing. We are. We're hey, doing Megan. It. Hi, Megan. Do you know Megan? Okay. <laughs> she's great. No, she's awesome. She's Hi, Megan. awesome. Do you like Switzerland? I don't know. I've never been. I am not tired of my dogs. Are you kidding? Someone just asked. See, they're tired of me, but that's different. Oh, but wait, you're also a golf champion, by the way. That's Let's right. Let's not forget. I just saw the golfing, and I remembered myself. That I remember. Golf? You can't even go golfing anymore. The I know. They have they done that down. here as well. They like told people they're not. The courses are closed, and I don't know what. I just want to sneak out. And... You can't. You can't. <laughs> oh, what's your favorite album to listen to during quarantine? I was listening the other day to uh, the Weekends new album. Someone just told I me to listen. Really to that. love. Yeah. I don't can't remember the. Oh, it's called what's it? After Hours. I think it's called. Don't. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I love that one. And then oh. for something more like fun, upbeat, I have to say Dua Lipa's new album. It's just. I love her. It's such an energy. I love The Weeknd too. Yeah. My, what's my quarantine album? Well, I guess right now it's, uh, oh my goodness. You know who I'm listening to on repeat and it's kind of annoying everybody in my house? Spoon. Jake. Hey, Jake. Jake Picking. He's got a new show out on Netflix mm -hmm. called Hollywood. It looks really good. Everyone should go watch it. it looks sick. Have you seen the trailer for that show? Which was it called? Hollywood. Oh, Ryan yeah. Murphy's new show. It looks yeah, really yeah. good. I love anything about actors. I'm obsessed with actors, so I can't <laughs> wait to watch it. Um, 
What was I? Oh, Spoon. Do you know the band Spoon? Yeah. I know. I've been listening to them a lot. Did they Every album them? is so Did good. Did they release something new maybe? No. Oh. <laughs> I just do that. <laughs> I listen to the same things yeah. that are old over and over. It's okay. If you like it, who cares? Right? I, I like it. I just haven't heard it lately. So I'm going to go have to... Rewatch like, it. Re-listen. Re Love and you. the Fiona Apple news album. Oh, that one wasn't. But that one is like you said. That one I was listening to it more as like a story. For me, it was like almost listening to an audio book with music, which was quite interesting. I love her. Yeah, exactly. Favorite? Any updates? This is Ladybird. If someone oh. asked what her name is, Ladybird. Oh, wait, what are your other two dogs called? Hello, good boy. Gonna need a big bank, but we just call him Buddy. That's the big one. And then we have. <laughs> Jack King, ruler of all flu, and that's Jack. And then her name is Ladybird, but she doesn't respond to anything else except Little. So I just call her Little. No. They're cute. They're, They're cute. cute pups. Suggest us a Netflix show. Um, Casa um, de Papel, the Spanish one. La Casa de Papel. Have you seen that? Wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. I think I actually have. Is it a soap opera? No. No, no, no. Well, no, 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 no. It's about this, the first season, well, now there's four, three seasons, I can't remember. But it's about uh, the, these people rob a bank. But it's unbelievable how they do it. It's just amazing. You have to watch it if you haven't seen it. It's called La Casa de Papel and Money Heist in English. Money Heist. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, on Netflix, I just started watching Outlander, like mm -hmm. one episode in. Have you seen that show? No, I haven't, but I have heard no. a lot about it. It's very good. A, great, a great one for now is Grace and Frankie also. Like if you want like something Grace. to make you feel good and laugh. If Grace you want something out of this world silly, it's called Kath and Kim. It's an Australian sitcom and it's two women who play characters of a mother and daughter and they're both at least over 30, maybe 40 years old, but one of them's playing like a 20 year old and one of them's playing the mom and like there's wigs involved. You just got to give it a chance. Yeah. It's, it's bonkers. No. It's kind of like I, the in the world of like, have you seen the private school girl, Jamae or Summer Heights High? No. It's like that. Oh my gosh. You need to watch both of those. You're going to love okay. them. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what that is. It's one guy who plays a bunch of different characters. Oh, okay. It's hilarious. And Very it's called Cat. Well, what's the first one you were saying? Kath and Kim is on Netflix. Kath and Kim, okay. And Jamae, Private School Girl, I think it might be on HBO. Mm -hmm. That's where I saw it. So you got to check that out. Okay. <laughs> if you want a good laugh. I will. Someone right. said, you had me at wigs. Yes. Yeah. Private School Girl, Jamae. They get it. They know. <laughs> Are you, okay, pa here it says, pancakes or waffles? <gasps> Blueberry pancakes, and you got me. If it's chocolate chip waffles, I might have to reconsider. Mm. I'm a pancakes love... with maple. Ready? The, some people find me gross, so I put pancakes with uh, egg, like a sunny side up egg, bacon, and maple syrup. And then I'm I in. and then I and you mix it all. <laughs> so that sounds amazing. Like Sweet and salty. I want to make pancakes oh, today. I, I have pancake stuff now. I want to do that. I might mm. do that after I get off this call. Exactly. That's definitely. Definitely. Have you watched Tiger King? Freaked me out. Obviously. But that was the that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It freaked me out. I didn't even understand. Like, why do I, I just feel so many feelings about it? Like, it was sad. It made me sad. <laughs> the whole thing made me sad. No, it was like, it was like every, almost every emotion you could feel. It was yep. like sad and then like, yeah, happy. But then why am I, you shouldn't be, this is weird. And then it just, it's sad. But it's, uh, uh, yeah. What's your favorite food in general? I love Spanish food. Oh, Spanish food. Have you, have you been to Spain? No, what? I really want to go. Oh my I gosh, know. you have to come. I would love to. I've been trying to, trying to get there for years. <laughs> Spain is, it's so special. Well, you're always welcome at my house if you want. I would love to. When this goes over, I'm, I'm there. Consider yeah. me there. Mm -hmm. come, to, come to Mallorca. It's a small. It's a small island off the coast in Spain. Um, please say no more. I'll be loved. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite lip color? Red. Red. If you're gonna go bold, go. Exactly. Love red. <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep. Mm. Don't. What time is it? Good night, sir. Woman. 
man, don't know. Hi, catatonic lover. I love talking to people on this thing. When you go live alone, it's the most awkward thing. No, because... I, I, yeah, I, I start playing music when I do, um, when I That's start good. doing live people. Like if I'm yeah, I don't stuff. If not play any speaking, instruments, I'm like, I don't just know. silence and then <laughs> me talking to myself and I'm like, you sound crazy. Yeah. <gasps> what is your favorite hair color? What's, I'm have you ever dyed your hair a different color? Like crazy? No, I've been trying. On my last film, I wanted to be brunette so bad. And oh, you would look amazing with blue eyes. Bizarre. They just, the studio, you know, you got to get a good wig if you're going to do it. So I'm waiting for the role where I can just buzz my, buzz my head, though. So we'll figure that out one day. What mm -hmm. about you? Would you ever want to be blonde? I, I, you know, I have never dyed. This is my natural hair color. I mean, you have such beautiful no, I, hair. Sorry, you but don't I, no, mess with I want it. to. No, no, I want to do a color. I was thinking of doing like the tips, maybe a different color. Or, or you could do like underneath. Mm -hmm. like exactly. Just... Like... <sighs> yeah. Um, no, I haven't been to Australia. Got oh, a lot of castmates in Australia. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. What time is it now? It's probably 11 something where I am now. What about you? It's 2.30. 2.30? Yeah. Mm. What's your favorite book ever? Ooh. My favorite book? I don't know. Like Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> Lewis Carroll? Mine was, I think, ever, ever. I read one called Because of Wind Dixie. Did you ever read that book? Like oh, my gosh. Younger. Fantastic. I, that one's a very really good, good choice. Very good choice. Mm. Have you been to Asia? Yes. Yes. In the Hong Kong, Japan. Me too. I love I love Japan so much. I went to Japan for a holiday, but I'm dying to go to Japan for work. Yeah. I perform there, and I want to well, any Asian countries for work. I would love to. I loved um, I love the culture of Japan. I like how clean it is and how kind everybody was, and so much fun. And I love sushi. Even when it moves, I'm a little freaked out, but I'll oh, give it a chance. <laughs> Do you guys have nicknames? Um, uh, people, yeah, I have a, I have a lot of nicknames. We got, we got K Newts, we got Cafe Latte, Katarina Ballerina, <laughs> Kit Kat for Prez. That's when I ran for president in school, but nobody voted for me because nobody knew I even went to the school. Um, Cat for Prez. I had one guy I used to tutor in eighth grade. He called me Teacup. Oh, I like Teacup. Good. I'm going to start calling you Teacup. <laughs> there you go. Um, I think that's all I got. Well, I didn't have cool ones like that. I just had what math, it... Maffy. <laughs> <laughs> Maffy? <laughs> that was it. That's all I got. I don't have many nicknames. You don't have, like, like DJ K Newts. That's how K Newts came about. Some guys <laughs> in school called me K Newts. It was exciting for me. That's funny. I love nicknames. And I had growing up, my best friend called me Cat. And once you like call me Cat, you can't go back. Like it's no. not, I'm not Catherine anymore. So no. I'm either Catherine or Cat. Like you got to choose. Who's it going to so be? Are you Catherine <laughs> or are you Cat? Actually, are you Catherine or Cat? I think I'm more Catherine. I but I think cat. that if I'm Cat, like I guess you got the cat out of me. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> I don't, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm <laughs> just rambling on. Rambling on a live. What chocolate is the best? Cap Capri's chocolate from England. Ooh. So I grew up in London. And so for me, it's like all chocolates from there. It's my childhood. I don't know. My favorite chocolate. I think I like Nutella a lot. <laughs> Bye, Megan. <laughs> Bye, Megan. Um, um, yeah. Wait, uh, where did you live in London? Uh, I lived in central London. So okay. about like in the Fulham area. Okay. And it was... I lived in Marlebone. Was that? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of loved course. it. And it was so that's... nice. I mean, I was born, born and raised there, and then I left to the states when I was eighteen or nineteen. Do you think you're going to move back to London, or do you want not think you'll live there again? Oh no, I would love to. No, I I think I would. I loved it. I still love it. So my mom, so it's like half, half, half of my family is in London and the other half is in Spain. And then some family is also in Bulgaria, actually. So it's like split. Great. <laughs> Do 
you can just go from one to one. I would just exactly. never, I would only live in those places. Don't come, don't live in LA ever. Don't be <laughs> like me. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Oh no, I gotta go soon. Cause I have okay. a Zoom. <laughs> I have a work Zoom. You have a Zoom with your sweatpants Zoom. on? Yeah, with my, very, yeah, with very my, productive like my nice working. sweater up top. <laughs> That's how I am most of the time. I had a meeting the other day and I put on heels so that uh, I was I was going to be uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Like mm -hmm. you're too I'm too comfortable at home. I had to put on different shoes. Yeah, exactly. So I woke up. But I'm really glad that we got to do this live. Thanks me for too. asking me. Thank you for joining me. I hope people feel community through this. Yeah. And, and I hope that we get to see fun. each other soon when all this goes yeah. back to normal. I know. I hope I see you in Paris one day. Or before then. Or before then. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, beautiful girl. Bye. Thanks, mwah, beautiful girl, for joining me. Um, tomorrow, we have super special guests that will be joining me. Uh, and I'll be posting about that later. Um, thank you for joining. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.